Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivana. Um, I wanted to do a what fits in my bag for my Dooney and Burke camouflage duck medium Caden tote. That was a mouthful. Um, let me start by measuring for you the size because there there is a little bit of a sometimes a misconception of what the actual size of this bag is because it really resembles the Dooney and Burke Shelby Shopper which is actually a larger bag than this but it's the same overall look and design so the length of the bag is looks like it's about I am not a professional looks like it's about ten and a half inches on the length the width is about oh it looks it's so hard for me to know to see this properly in the camera about four and a half yes four and a half inches on that dimension and the only one that's left is length height 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 and that is about also ten and a half, so it's pretty much a square. Ten and a half by ten and a half by four and a half. The handle drop is approximately what is that? About five and a half, five and a half inches, and the strap drop length. Now I have shortened this to the shortest setting, so. There's three adjustments on each side, and I like a shorter strap where it hangs more under my arm and not so far down by my hip. So I usually shorten these as much as I can. Uh, some of them tend to be a little long, so I've made it 10 inches, and it can go probably to 13 inches, I think, is if I'm thinking of that right. But um, also here is a visual size comparison to, I don't have a Shelby Shopper in my collection anymore, but I do have a Chelsea Shopper, which is pretty similar in size to the Shelby Shopper, which is the larger version that looks like this. So here is a little bit of a visual size comparison for you on that. As you can see, there's quite a bit difference in size there. This is more, um, comparable to size in size to the small Lexington shopper I would say and here is a small Lexington shopper so you can see it looks like the Lexington might even be a little bit smaller it's not stuffed as this one is so it's looking a little different but it's not as long in the length but it looks to be a little bit uh, wider on the width of the bag there so there you go there is the size um, I have not actually taken the stuffing out of this bag yet, so this is all going to be an experiment for myself as well, for me as well. So let me just take out all of the nice stuffing. They really do a good job with this, um, with stuffing. The gunmetal and the nylon key keeper in there. Sorry for the noise, guys. I really wanted to make this authentic for you. So there's the lining with the family um, print in there which is really pretty. It's like a canvas feel and it feels really thick to me. It really does because when I feel the pocket right there it feels like really thick. Um, it's a standard Dooney setup on the inside as far as the slip pockets go. So on the front wall you've got a, a larger slip pocket and then a smaller slip pocket here. They are lined or trimmed in the leather and there is no snap which some of us really don't care for on the back wall there is a it's not very deep but it's pretty wide a slip pocket and a zipper pocket where I've got my information that I keep with all of my bags there and there you go and the Dooney and Burke logo in leather right there 
So let's get to it. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see the front of the bag. I'm going to start with my standard carry. Uh, I will include this because I've been carrying this a lot lately. And since this bag is pretty slim, I think what I'm going to do is stand this up on end, which is what I do with my um, zip zip satchels and my Lexington, my small Lexington, because because they're so slim, it helps use up some of this space up here versus shoving everything down to the bottom half of the bag. This is my checkbook. I carry it with me all the time in my everyday carry. My glasses. So I have put all of that in the bag, back section, and it fits pretty well. Um, my little wallet that I love so much. And the rest of my everyday carry is in here. There goes the Lexington. So in here, I've just got this, which I'm carrying random lipsticks and things like that. I've got lotions and other lipsticks and lip products, gum and um, more gum and mints there. So what I'm going to try to do first is use got a notification there. Use this inside of this bag and see how well that works. Although I think it's going to be really tight. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put it in here. So I'm going to put this in the front section and I don't think it's wanting to, I'm really having to cram that in. So I don't think this is going to work very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to condense some of this stuff. I actually don't need to carry that. That was my Christmas lipstick, which I actually figured out I really didn't like very much. It was a little bit dark for me. I tend to stick with natural colors, pinks, nudes, things like that. I just, the darker lipsticks just feel too harsh on me. Maybe I'm just used to seeing myself natural. I don't know. Wallet. So I'm not going to take that with me because that's just an extra one. I don't need so many lipsticks with me. I've got a Cliff Bar. My mint, oh, my little perfume, I forgot about that. Some of this, I don't need another Z bar there. I got my cliff bar, that's good enough. Okay, so I'm going to just stick that in front, stick that in front. I'm gonna put this in the slip pocket. I'm gonna put this in the other slip pocket. I'm gonna put that in the slip pocket. This in the slip pocket that has the lotion. And this, I'm just, it's not going to fit in a slip pocket, so I'm just going to stick that in the back section with my um, Louis Vuitton pochette and my uh, checkbook and glasses. And I will stick this in front. And that is it. That's my everyday carry. Let me stick this back in here just to make it really authentic because this stays in my bags with them at all times. It is The zipper pocket is the dedicated space for that. It's weighted down quite a bit, I have to say, but it fits really well. And this is my everyday carry. So this bag actually being as kind of a little or a uh, littler, a little petite bag versus some of the you know larger silhouettes, it actually works for my everyday carry. And it's not really bulging. So I'll show you what it looks like inside. And I haven't even used this, so I'll use that in a little different version of what I'm doing. So there we go, guys. It really works well. I'm really happy with that. I'm sorry if there are some light issues. I've got the blinds open and the sun is shining in now. So let's just say I'm not carrying this. And let's just take some of these things out. I want to do some different variations for you in case you guys carry different things. So let's just, I'm going to leave the mints and the gum and the lotion and the um, perfume. I think that is pretty standard. I think a lot of people may carry that stuff. So I'm just going to leave that in there. And then I'm going to try some different things. I've got some different size pouches here. Not that they necessarily match, but um, this is a pretty common silhouette for makeup case for Dooney and Burke. This is another, this is the large slim wristlet. 
it comes in a lot of different prints and um, mediums. This is another little um, pouch that I got from a very lovely friend of mine. Thank you so much for that again. I love it. Um, I use this, I, and I put stuffing in here so it looks like they're a little bit full, so it actually takes up the amount of space that it would use if I had stuff in there. Um, this actually came with the Shelby Shopper. Here's another little, this is a small, a medium wristlet for Dooney and Burke. This is the size as compared to the large slim wristlet. And this is a larger size wallet. I don't carry this very much, but I really like it. It's cute. But I, as you guys probably know, this is my favorite wallet. So, but I know a lot of people do carry these larger wallets. So I wanted to show you how that would fit. So let's say I had this makeup bag. And that fits easily into the bottom of the bag. And let's say I've got a medium wristlet. I can slide that in right next to it. I can use a larger wristlet in the front and maybe a large wallet. And if I stood these two up like this, that would be even better, in my opinion. It would really use up some of that vertical space, making this fit much nicer. I can even still fit my checkbook. I can even fit my glasses in there. I can even add some gum if I wanted in a clip bar. And there you go. Everything fits really nicely still. And that's, you know, that's a good amount of stuff in here. Uh, I don't carry a lot of makeup with me on the go, so I don't really need a larger makeup case, but if you didn't carry as many of these pouches as I have in here, you could fit the larger makeup case in here, no problem. So, now I've got stuff spread out all over the place, and I don't even know what I'm doing. But, I'm just going to keep on leaving that stuff in the pockets. Let's say you wanted to carry your mini iPad with a case on it and protect it really nicely. That slides right into that center zipper pocket. It fits in there vertically I and it fits in there horizontally as well. It took a little wiggling and I've got a um, pretty thick case on there. So let's say I'm putting that in there and I could even put my checkbook in there with it, but that kind of bulks it out a little bit, so I'm gonna leave that out. So I'm just gonna leave the iPad in there on its own. Let's say I wanted to carry my agenda, and this is similar in size. I think this is the personal size. It's The pages are maybe three point something inches and five point something inches, and I've got other paper sticking in there. This is what I use to track my bills and things like that. So I'm going to, and it's pretty thick, I'm going to stick that in one side. And that pretty much, see how it pushes that center divider? So that, I can even lay that down horizontally. That really doesn't leave much space in the front, so I could maybe stick a slim wallet and my checkbook and I could slip my makeup case on top of that agenda in there. So that would work. And I could, this, this is tough. This is tough, guys. Because now I'm doing this to the bag. I'm really puffing it out. But I can still close it and it still works. And as some of you may know, coated cotton with Dooney and Burke is very durable. So I really wouldn't even worry about it, you know, stretching things out and stuff. It's doable. If you put the agenda vertically, you can put a makeup case. No, that's really stretching it. You could maybe use this size next to it. You have to wiggle a little. You know what's making this difficult is that iPad in the center compartment because it's making this really 
rigid right here. It's not having much give there. So if you took that out, it would maybe even be better in the front compartment and maybe put your checkbook and a wallet in the center compartment. That actually frees it up a little bit better there. Makes this a little better. Okay, so let's try, let's try the iPad in the front and I'm gonna keep the checkbook and the wallet in the center there. Let's try the Happy Planner, because I know a lot of you enjoy this planner. So let's try this one in here. I'm gonna put this in the back. I'm gonna try vertically. These plastic rings are getting stuck on things. That's the problem. But check this out. It fits. It makes it heavy. Way heavy, especially with the iPad too. But it fits very nicely. Just because of the, st the structure of this bag, the shape and the organization, it keeps everything in its place really nicely. And yeah, I think that really works well. I could even take my glasses and what else? I've got my wallet and my checkbook, so um, putting that in there with my glasses would be a little tough. But you guys get the idea, I think. I mean, I think this bag is really a good size. I think it holds a good combination of things. Um, if I didn't have my happy planner, let's try a file folder. Okay, so the file folder sticks up out of the top and it's too wide unless you didn't have a lot of papers in there. You can bend it a little bit to fit in there. So that's a little bit um, uh, cutting it close. Let's try an umbrella, and this is most likely going to stick out of the top. It's, this is a larger umbrella. You can use a more compact umbrella, and that would be no problem. I cannot lay this down horizontally because it's too long. So, But because of the design of this bag, it does not zip on the top. You can bring an umbrella and let it stick out of the top. How about a water bottle? I hate putting water bottles in here. In fact, this is really rough for me right now. We've been just testing this out. So that's how that looks. It, it invades the front space a little bit, but it does work. And then if you didn't want it to fall down and spill, if you want it to be upright, you can put something else next to it like your agenda and your glasses and your Kislot coin purse. And your wallet and your checkbook are still there. So, oh, John, <laughs> sorry, I had a visitor again. <laughs> had to go show him what food we had to eat and say goodbye to Kearney. So, yeah, so I don't even know where I left off here, but this is pretty heavy right now. But, yeah, as you can see, there are a lot of different combinations and things that you can fit in here. It's a really good size bag. Um... If you're looking for a nice medium bag, I really recommend this one. And at the price, I really don't believe you can beat it. So that is it. The What Fits in My Dooney and Burke Medium Caden Tote in the Camouflage Duck Print. And it is coated cotton and leather trimmings. And really, really, really cute. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions on this bag, please let me know. Ask in the comments down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you have any other suggestions of videos for the future, please let me know. I will try my best to do what I can. Um, I'm trying to be better at uh, filming and posting more regularly. So, um, Okay guys, I hope you have a great week. I'm on vacation this week, so I'm really excited. I hope to do the Dooney and Burke collection video sometimes, sometime this week. I should have time, so i um, hoping to do that. I totally forgot about showing you how you could fit a scarf and gloves in here, but I think you get the gist. So um, thanks again for joining me. Have a great day, guys. Bye.
In case any of you are interested in mod shots and what the bag looks like on the body, I am 5'5 five five and about a size 10. So here is on the crook of the arm. Here it is on the shortest setting, as I mentioned, so it can go down lower, but I prefer it to be up as high as possible here. So sorry for the creaky floors, guys. I can't help it. So yeah, there you go. I thought I'd add that in in case anybody was interested in seeing that. Bye, guys. It's like my bag exploded in here. <laughs>